happen through uh, intravenously. Unless you're an IV drug user, or maybe vaccines for that matter, which, uh, which allow you to breach the barrier and it go directly into the blood. That's the big problem with vaccines, whether or not you think that they're good for curing or preventing. By the way, you hear about the new Zika vaccine. Wait till you hear about that one. We'll talk about Zika here, hopefully, in the coming days. Anyway, if the whole problem with vaccines, whether or not, whether or not you think that they're very important for protecting us from infectious diseases, the problem is you're now bypassing your barrier and going right into the blood. You're bypassing the, the digestive system's immune and uh, protective functions and going right into the blood through the skin, and that is not a good idea. Not to mention you don't know what, the, what kind of crap is in that vaccine. That's aside from that. Anything that goes through the skin into the blood has to be done, has to be looked at with great care or taken great care before you do something like that because you're breaching a major, major defensive barrier, which is the, uh, the gut, by sticking stuff right through the skin. And that's anything, let alone the, the prions and mercury and living entities that are in the vaccines. The entrance into the blood primarily is the gut, and it's supposed to be that way but we're supposed to have a strong gut. And that's why on this program, you will always hear us focusing first and foremost on digestive health. I'm not a food Nazi. I'm not one of those, you know, you only eat raw and you got to eat organic, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, that's not what we're talking about here. And I'm not beating anybody up for their food choices. I'm just saying that because the gut is the entrance into the sacred space, it has to be regarded with, it has to be treated with great care and regarded as the, fun, the, the ultimate ultimate defensive barrier, which it is. Diabetes, second leading cause of death in this country, and maybe first if you factor in the heart disease that is associated with it, is a blood disease. Diabetes is a dirty blood disease. It fits right into the model, folks. 100 million Americans, one out of three, just have blood sugar problems. That's a blood disease or a blood issue. Dirt, uh, sugar represents dirt except a particularly deadly form of dirt because it's toxic after a certain amount. Yes, I'm not you know, talking about the small amount you need to run your brain and other systems in the body. You need a small amount of sugar, and that's true. But after that, it's considered by the body dirt, toxic dirt. So diabetes is a dirty blood disease. Leaky gut syndrome, broken down digestive lining, dirty blood issue. And then the adrenal thyroid complex. Again, that's, a that's also a blood issue. The adrenal glands are our major blood pressure, one of the major blood pressure controlling systems. The kidneys and the, and the adrenal glands regulate the blood pressure. Of course, the heart's involved, the liver's involved, all the, all the syst many systems are involved. But the key points for blood pressure are the adrenals, i.e. stress, which is why the fastest way to lower your blood pressure is to relax your body. No drugs required. Again, if you have any doctor who puts you on a beta blocker for your blood pressure before he tells you to relax your body as a blood pressure lowering strategy, every time you look at him, picture that little bone on top of his head because he's a bonehead. Worse, those drugs are awful. Beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, even the so-called mild, the mildest blood pressure drugs, antihypertensives, are the diuretics. And those are no picnic either. You're losing minerals, forcing your body to expel potassium and calcium and other minerals. Ugh, I'm telling you. All right. We're coming back with your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is your number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang tight if you're on hold. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll get to you in just a quick second. Uh, reading from the journal Science. New study indicates why children are likelier to develop food allergies. Apparently, it's proteins contained in food that stimulate the immune system. That's from uh, the journal Science. Uh, La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology. Researcher Charles Sir is quoted as saying, uh, Tregs, which are a type of immune marker, were present in children who had food allergy issues. Tregs immune system activation is associated with proteins in foods, the wrong kinds of proteins in foods, proteins that activate the immune system. Again, digestive involvement, foods, food allergies. It's all the same problem, you guys. How gut inflammation sparks colon cancer. This is from the journal Cell Stem Cell, or yeah, I guess it's called Cell Stem Cell. Duke Biomedical Engineers 
have come to the conclusion that chronic inflammation in the gut increases the risk of colon cancer by as much as 500%. No kidding, cancer itself, my friends, the emperor of all maladies, the ultimate scourge, is an inflammatory issue. It's a protective issue. It's a defensive response, long-term defensive response. Again, this is good news. This is great news. Once we figure out what's getting into the body, into the blood inappropriately, our bodies cannot help but begin the recovery process, especially if we simultaneously make sure we're using our Mighty 90 essential nutrients. That's the secret of fasting, right there, in a nutshell. That is the secret of the power of fasting. You give your blood a break. You give your digestive system a break and you give your blood a break. And again, I'm not here to beat up anybody on their food choices. I eat crap as much as, maybe not as much as anybody, but enough. It's not about that. It's about if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, it involves inflammation. Inflammation is defense, and that means food and the digestive system first and foremost. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Tanya in L.A., Los Angeles. What's up, Tanya? Welcome to the Bright Side. Well, hi. Once again, how you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, I, I do have an issue. I need for you to pick up my email. And uh -oh. I am, taking am I not picking up your emails? I get so many. No. What, what did you ask me? Tell me. Uh, about um, L-arginine. And you emailed me? Yeah, and with okay. regards to high blood pressure. My high blood pressure is through the roof. I'm chill, girl. Ranges. Chill out. Take a chill I'm pill. I, I, sometimes you can't chill out, sir, and sometimes I know. you have to have other and things. And you're in L.A., and you're especially, you're in the, are you in the city, right in the city? I, no, I'm right outside. Okay, no, I can, I'm, I'm teasing you because I definitely know what you're talking about. It's, not, it's easier said than done, right? How about a hot tub? Yeah. Can you get in a hot tub or a hot bath? Yeah, well, I'm going to get a cast, so I won't be able to do that. <laughs> okay, I won't be able to do that, but yeah. So, you know, even so putting water on your face, even hot water in the face with a washcloth will do it. Mm -hmm. Take a okay, hot washcloth. I, yeah. I, I need I need a, I need a strategy other than a mechanical one. I'm gonna need something internal too. Because right. I understand what you're saying. I've got I'm gonna get a chair that's gonna relax me. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of different things. However, yeah. I do you want need some nutrition. A yeah. huh? Oh you want some nutritional ideas too? Yeah. Okay, and here you go. No problem. Some supplemental. I told you about the L arginine. I'm that's a great one. That's a great milligram. one. That's not enough though. 500 milligrams okay. is not enough. Let, let me talk about all that stuff. We'll talk about arginine, and I'll give you some great nutritional strategies for lowering your blood pressure. Right off the bat, I'll tell you a great one right now. Timed release niacin, 200 milligrams a day. Timed release okay. niacin right away. That's a, and there's more. But I want to say one thing about uh, we're talking about the washcloth, and I've been, uh, we talk a lot about these relaxation strategies, and they're all important. The face, we carry a lot of tension in our face and in our jaws especially. And a lot of TMJ issues and even back issues and migraine headache issues are related to tension, tightness that's chronic in the face area and especially in the jaws and especially in the eyes, right around the eyes and in the jaw. If you could figure out a way to relax your jaw and relax your eyes, your body, your brain will get the signal that everything is okay just by doing that. Can you, can you picture that, Tanya? Can you, can you yeah. just relax your eyes? and your, Can you feel how you're relaxing your whole body when you just do that? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Isn't that interesting? Just by, yeah. re when was the last time your specialist, your high blood pressure specialist, your cardiologist, told you about relaxing your eyes to lower your blood pressure? Do you know you just added years to your life, Tanya? If you do that, just a little bit, a couple minutes a day, you will add years to your life and reduce your risk of chronic disease states. If you're in a tense situation, you're in a job interview, or you know, you're know you on a date, or whatever, some kind of stressful situation, if you're public speaking, relax your jaw and relax your eyes. The brain will get your, the signal that everything is right in the world, and it will send relaxing hormones through the body and shut down and, and reduce inflammation. Now, as far as nutrition goes, Tanya, I'm gonna go fast because I got a bunch of calls I wanna get to. There's lots of great nutrients. The aforementioned niacin is phenomenal for lowering bl blood pressure. Magnesium, phenomenal for lowering blood pressure, high doses. B vitamins, phenomenal for lowering blood pressure in addition to niacin, vitamin B3, thiamine, vitamin B12, very, very important. Even vitamin B2, vitamin B6, super duper important. That's your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, arginine, you said, that's a, a great one. Coenzyme Q10 and, uh, and uh, vitamin E and omega-3 fatty acids, also wonderful. More long-term though, not quite as rapid. And then 
there's more, there's lots more, but I'm just going to tell you one more. The electrolytes, potassium and calcium and sodium and chloride and magnesium, and these are found in veggies and veggie juices. So making sure you're veggie juicing like it's going out of style and then making sure you're doing your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which you can think of as a electrolyte drink, a water-soluble nutrient drink, primarily electrolytes. All right, so you got lots of stuff there, Tanya, and don't forget to lighten up and 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 uh, washcloth on the eyes, hot washcloth on the eyes, or just even relaxing the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Okay, Tanya. remember my email, okay? Uh, is, did you? When did you send it? A while ago? Hey, I, I'll resend it. Resend it today, and I promise I'll get back to you. With my, with, put in the. Um, um, Put my name in. Okay. Yeah, put your name in the subject. In the subject. Okay. I'm sorry, Todd. Thanks. Uh, have a great day. All right. Talk to you later. Uh, let's go to Eliza in Idaho. What's up, Eliza? Welcome to the bright side. Thank you. Hey. What's Hi. What's crack a lack in there in Idaho? Where are you? I just. I'm. Um, Boise, Pocatello. Rexburg. Where is it? Rexburg. Where's that near? Is that up north? Um, near Pocatello. Near Pocatello. Idaho is so beautiful. Oh, my God. It yes, is a it beautiful is. state. What's going on? How can we help you, Eliza? Um, so a couple of days ago, I started getting this, like, growing pain feeling in my left arm. Are you um, growing? Are you a youngster? No, I'm 21, and I'm actually 20 weeks pregnant right now. Okay, um, gotcha. I have a toddler also. Okay. Well, um, inflip. Inflama pain is inflammation. Inflammation is very typical when you're pregnant. I mean, think about what's going on in your body. You, you got something, you know, you got to the body anyway. You got a foreign invader in there. So inf the inflammatory process is very common. So here's a couple things for you, all right? First of all, you got to go low sugar for your baby, for the health of your baby, and also for the inflammation. Secondly, you want to make sure your digestive system is firing on all cylinders. Again, for you and for your baby, especially fats. Uh, your hormones are all fluctuating. Your estrogen is going through the roof. I mean, y your body is in a very vulnerable, tender state. So you've got to be super duper careful with anything that, that hypes it up. And sugar is a bad, is a big, big problem. And any food allergens are a big problem. So make sure your digestive system is working correctly and make sure you're going low sugar. Uh, you, you do need complex starches, but you'll get those with vegetables. I should say complex okay. sugars. You'll get those with vegetables, lots of veggies. Don't go away, Eliza, because we've got to take a break. But I'll, we'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll come back with your phone calls and more good health information right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Eliza in Idaho. So I'm going to go quickly here, Eliza, because i got a bunch of calls, all right? So if you uh, write down if you can't write down everything I'm saying or go back to the archives and listen up. Number one, you want to keep your blood sugar stable. Sugar represents a major inflammatory factor, and the pain that you're talking about is a sign that you're, being inf that you're inflamed, which is not unusual if you're pregnant. So keeping inflammation down is very important. Sugar, you want to go low sugar, low refined sugar. Uh, you do need, you need to make sure you're eating lots of veggies and veggie juices. You'll get plenty of, your, of the good sugars that way. Then any digestive issues need to be addressed, especially around fats and fatty vitamins. Inflammation and estrogen and uh, pregnancy hormones, a lot of that has to do with fat metabolism. So you want to make sure you're getting your vitamin E, which is wonderfully anti-inflammatory. I'd be doing 400 IU a day of that one. Uh, you want to make sure you're getting your omega-3 fatty acids. You'll get that in the Healthy Star Pack, which you should definitely be on. You want to use your Biolumin Nightly Essence, not only for the digestive system, but also for processing hormones and fats. You want to make sure you're using apple cider vinegar after your meals and using digestive enzymes. You may want to throw in some digestive enzymes on an empty stomach. Uh, if, if your pain is really that severe, although that's not as important as just taking the enzymes with food. And then there's a wonderful, awesome, really cool anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and blood sugar nutrient called alpha-lipoic acid. Make sure you, you might want to think about 200 to 400 milligrams of that one. Make sure you're using magnesium. You'll get that in the Healthy Start Pack. Very important for the entire circulatory system for blood sugar. It's also anti-inflammatory and has pain-relieving benefits. And I think I mentioned the essential, your own make a three fats. If I didn't, they're very important for both you and your baby. Fish oil, DHA, EPA, for you and your baby. All right, Eliza, okay, congratulations, too. Yeah? You want to say one uh, more thing? I have been taking calcium. My mom has been having me take the Osteo FX. Okay, that's, um, that's all good. I've been taking that for the past two days, um, but it started in my left arm, went to my right leg, and now it's in my right arm. It's, so it just keeps moving around my body. Yeah, it's, it's going to. It's going to. That's what I'm telling you. It's in the blood. Okay. 
The problem is in the blood, and the blood moves around the body. So yes, that will happen. You have inflammatory factors, things that cause pain, chemicals that cause pain.